This is the final image of a man shortly before he would die in one of the worst deaths imaginable. Viewer discretion is advised. Pictured here is Dion Dreyer. He was from South Africa and he was a diver. On December 17th, 1994, the 20-year-old was diving. This was at Bosman's Gat Cave, which is located in South Africa. And I guess this is a particular area known as Bushman's Hole. He was doing a practice dive there, but he never made it up. And his body never floated to the surface. They believe he may have died from oxygen toxicity. They had sent people down there to see if they could recover his body, but it never became a possibility. Until 10 years later. This was diver David Shaw. He was originally from Australia, and he was a technical diver who had done well over 300 dives. Well, one day he decided he was going to attempt to go to the bottom of Bosman's Gat and try to retrieve the body of Dion Dreyer. He went down there, he found the body, which was unbelievable to begin with. He then had to go back up to the top, which is where he would tell Dion's family, I found him, I'm going back down, and I'm going to get him. It was January 8th, 2005. This photo was taken moments before that particular dive. He had also gone down there with a partner. This is kind of a visual representation of what this dive would have looked like. Very deep, very dark. The two divers did manage to get themselves to the bottom, where they did find the body of Dion Dreyer again. Now, as Dave is trying to basically get hold of the body, what they didn't really account for was that the body had become very buoyant. This was because, I guess, of like the skeletal remains, but also partially covered with the diver's scuba suit. It like developed this soap-like kind of material that caused the body to float. So Dave is beginning to kind of struggle with all of this. He puts his underwater light down on the surface of the cave, which there's a bunch of wires connected to that light. As he's struggling with the body, the wires get caught around him. Dave becomes entangled in these wires. They're becoming entangled with the cords of the body bag they were using as well. Dave is struggling to free himself. His partner was also getting entangled. That individual does manage to begin to resurface because he needs to. But Dave, unfortunately, is kind of left tangled in these wires down below. As Dave struggled and struggled and struggled, the high pressure of being down that deep would create severe respiratory issues. There will be a large buildup of carbon dioxide, which then caused him to black out where he then died. Three days later, Dave Shaw's body and the body of Dion Dreyer would both float to the surface of Bushman's Hole.